Hello viewers, here is a frigid air air the conditioner and this is a model I found recently that I have been looking for for a while. Earlier in the spring I created a Facebook marketplace account which surprisingly they actually had a lot of air conditioners on there. A lot of them were junk, I mean 90% of them were junk. but found a couple good ones. I got this one. I got that old carrier. The fetters, that carrier. So there was a couple good ones on there. Uh, unfortunately I've I had to stop using it because I, I don't have any extra money this month or probably next month so I won't be uh, getting any more air conditioners off of there but I got enough that I need to get through the summer at least. Um, anyway so this one this is one of the models I've been looking for, and here it is. Uh, these Frigidaire units have a lot of nostalgia to me. I believe this one is from the very early 2000s, uh, yep, 05, 20, uh, 01. So this would be probably sold in the summer of 2001. Many years ago, back in that, around the same time, my aunt and uncle had one of these. They li uh, the first house they lived in was like a kind of a dilapidated farmhouse. I have actually a lot of memories of that house. I used to really like going over there, uh, which is odd. I don't have a lot of memories, generally speaking, from that time period. I had a concussion when I was in middle school, and I think it did more damage than we realized at the time because I don't remember a lot of things that I should and I forget things all the time but whatever is what it is um, but I recall going over there and they had not this model it was the one with the electronics controls but they had one of these and I remember at some point there was a some kind of debacle with the remote I think my uncle used to keep the remote on top of the unit and then at some point when he I guess he must have been taken it out of the window or whatever and the remote fell into the outside of the house and then he couldn't find the remote and then like a couple of years later he was cleaning up the landscaping or something and he found the remote I don't think it I don't think so that it worked anymore but um, I just remember that him talking about that once uh, that particular unit is still circulating around the family he moved into a house with central air conditioning after that and so the conditioner was passed off to his in-laws and uh, as of two years ago it was still running I had serviced it last time I was up there so it still works good still around uh, it's, that's a small little 5000 BTU machine it's pretty much the same size physically speaking as this one I was very surprised to see that this one is actually a 10,000 BTU now there's three versions of this unit that I know of. There's this one with the mechanical control set. There's the other one I'm talked about with the electronics control set. And then there was a third model which is extremely scarce. I've only seen a handful of pictures of it and never seen it in person. Where it only has one knob and it's literally on off and that's it. No temperature, no speeds, nothing. I would love to find one of those because that's super ridiculous. Um, but this one of all the three is the most practical because I don't really like electronics controls and one that has no temperature control is I mean I guess it's it's useful but it's kind of a pain in the neck so this one this is the most practical of them all um, so this one makes the most sense it's a three speed uh, three fan speeds and it, it really moves some air This is the Frigidaire model FAC103K1A1. It is a 9,950 BTUs, 10 amps, 9.8 er stupid, and uh, it's R22, 17 ounces, and there's the date code. 
these were what I would consider to be some of the last like really good air conditioners that we saw once you get to the models that Frigidaire made after this one they're just not they're just not that good like they made they made those uh, those 410 models after this and those were horrifically noisy although they seemed to cool pretty well they were just awfully loud I don't like them so these I would say were some of the last really good machines that we saw um, good performance pretty conventional design that fan looks like it really needs to be cleaned um, I actually don't like the design of this these cases these chassis very difficult to to get apart for cleaning and servicing. Probably one of my least favorite designs. Um, really just don't like the design of these. Oh, the fan's kind of cool, it's unusual. But uh, pain in that service. This is a General Electric blurry fan motor. Looks like it is the air conditioner fan model. 5K CP124 CFK27S 1.3 amps. That's got a lot of power to it. 10 microfarads to 1050 or 1550, 1335, and, and uh, 1175 RPM. So you can even see numerically that there's not a lot of variance in the speeds. Made in China. Ooh. I wonder if they started this to keep the fans running quicker to try to play games with the efficiency levels I don't know it's very annoying though it's so much like not worth having three speeds very little difference at all uh, in this model it looks like the case was painted at some point which is kind of interesting and it looks like it also came with a uh, free candy cane or candy corn pencil. That's interesting. Condenser has certainly seen better days, but we'll get that fixed up. That's uh, that's going to be a challenge right there. That's pretty bad. It's definitely got some corrosion. Although it seems like the corrosion is limited to to this area. Actually, it doesn't seem like the rust is all that bad. It seems like it's more just dirt. A lot of dirt in there. And there is some rust over here, but hmm, it seems like it's kind of isolated. It also could just be the paint covering it. Clearly does have some corrosion on there. The compressor is... I'm not sure if we're going to be able to tell what the brand is. Oh, come on. Stupid. There we go. I can't tell what the what the brand is. I, I'm sure somebody could probably tell me just based off that label, but I don't know. Jeez, they got the stinking paint inside there. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, the whole thing is painted. Is that a drain here? Huh, it is. That's interesting. I mean, you're still going to get water sitting in the bottom there, but nothing crazy. Huh. I had no idea that these had, uh, these had drain holes. Well, that explains something. Oh, that racket out there. Hmm. 
Well, anyways, uh, I think I've rambled on long enough about this. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see it operate. Just for a short while, because there's no point in running it with filthy, dirty, bent up coils. It's not going to do anybody any favors. Especially not the machine itself. Now, with the age on these things, you got to start taking care of them. Here's the plug. It looks like it's in pretty good shape still. It kind of seems like it might be a low hours unit. quick before we uh, turn this on here. I'd be willing to bet that filter was never cleaned. So this might be all the usage it's ever seen, which isn't anything crazy. It's probably only a couple seasons. Coil looks generally pretty good. It's definitely dusty and it's blocked up, but uh, it doesn't seem too rusted. So things look pretty good for this machine. It's certainly salvageable. No side curtains, but whatever. As long as it's got the bar on the top, I can I can get it in the window without the curtains. All right, so we'll start with the fee in on low. It's got a cool startup sounds. On low, it's 0.95. On medium, it's 1.02. And there is a difference, but it's not much. I think a lot of that noise is, is almost exclusively condenser noise. The front doesn't sound loud at all. So even though it's it's loud here because we got the whole the condenser fan noise. I don't think it's that loud. The one my grandfather has, which is the Kenmore branded version of this with the electronics controls, that one's very quiet. I like that machine. That one I service regularly as well. That's not where the compressor is, but I'll show you the startup sounds. That's the high. There you go, Lamont. I know you always like to hear the startup sounds of the fans. And now we'll do the startup sounds of the compressor. Thermostat's working good. Try to hold this in the middle here and start up the compressor. It sounds quite content to operate. No funny noises whatsoever. You can already hear the head pressure going up at 7.35 amps. Oh, I can actually hear it freezing already. Ice cold. in the 50s and mind you that's what this is under a lot of load because I have this heater running heaters on and going into this 89 degrees so this is not under an easy load right now this is under full 
Oh, it's on our full load because it's not circulating heat on the condenser side, but on the evaporator side, we got a lot of heat going through here. And it's blowing out ice, no problem. These really were good machines. Some of the last of them, too. these let it run for a minute and get up the temperature and I'll come back on the video when it's there it's been running for a few minutes and we've got this is running out of charge here well, that might be it for this uh, for the charge on this charge but I could tell you that's in the 30s that's in the high 30s for sure this is cranking and it's working good so good find inexpensive and this is big enough to go in the kitchen I think for a little while yeah that is freezing that's how I always remember these got really cold Nice, got a full charge.